I've sold a bunch of MacBooks in the past and the first thing I usually do before I sell it is write down how much I want for it. This is my expectation and I'm gonna check some prices online to see if my expectation is around where things actually are. I paid a lot for this MacBook Air. I hardly used it because I mainly tested things on this channel with it. So I still wanna recoup a lot of the costs. It may not be possible, so I might need to reset my expectations. So right away, that's not gonna work. Create a new listing, items for sale. How are these usually listed? Ah, oh, this is a good listing right here. It's a good title at least, which I'll borrow. 13 inch Apple, MacBook Air M2, one terabyte. Let's just take out the details about the cores and we should be good to go. Price, this thing is barely used. So I'm gonna see what Apple refurbished costs. They're charging $1,529 for almost new one because these refurbished models are really good. I made a video about that recently, which is like a lot less than what I paid for it. And also keep Keep in mind that Apple is giving me $860 for this thing if I were to trade it in. I found that out in a recent video as well. They lied. It's not up to $550. They're giving me $860 for this one. So if I can get somewhere between $860 and $1,500, closer to $1,500 ideally, that would be best. What does eBay want for these? $1,300. But let's take a look at completed items. Whoa, <laughs> really? Somebody bought this for $1,899 even though Apple refurbished is cheaper by $300, more than $300. Wow, but about 1300, this one sold for 1500 and here's 2448. So 1300 is what we should be shooting for. Desktop computers has laptops and tablets under it. <laughs> Use like new and I will shamelessly rip off this other post because it's good. This is the Mac Daddy of MacBook Airs. Actually, this is, this is fun. <laughs> and you know what? In case Google is going to index that and punish my listing, I'm going to have ChatGPT rephrase it. Copy pasta. I don't know about this section. I have not <laughs> embraced returns. There we go. Introducing the ultimate MacBook Air up for grabs. Recently, I upgraded to the M3 model. M2, M3, very true. Made a video about this one. Processor type, M2, RAM, 24 gigabytes. Hard drive, one terabyte. Add some photos. Let's get this one on the front. Publish. Let's see where this goes. It's only been a couple hours. I was expecting to get a lot more responses than two, because last year when I tried this with my, my other MacBook and my Mac Studio, I got inundated with messages. It was insane and they were all scams. Here, we're probably just gonna get some scams, maybe all of them, I don't know. But this guy says, would you do a thousand? Now, these kinds of messages are gonna be super common on Facebook Marketplace and elsewhere because these are low ballers that just want to see if they can quickly buy this thing and sell it for more to make a nice quick buck, but it's all wasting my time. No can do, sorry. I bet you this other message is related to it. Lisa, let's see. Lisa says, do you deliver and how much is your final asking price? I can deliver in my area. Where are you located? My final asking price is $1,400. Now look, I know that that may seem like an move, but it's a quick way to fish out scams because if you say a higher price than your listing, that means they're not even paying attention to your listing. All they're doing is just going bam, 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 replying to posts and trying to see what fish they can catch. If they notice that the price is higher than the listing, they'll say something about it. But I will edit my listing to say local pickup only, no deliveries and no shipping. That didn't take long at all. Look at this. Right now I'm in Xenia, Ohio, 45385. Is it a good bargain to offer 1500 along with the shipping charge? Well, yes, that's a good bargain. That's $200 more than I asked for. Let's do it. But my suspicious senses are tingling here. All right, now you in the comments, write down if you would go for this or if this is a total scam, go. Let's ask ChatGPT what it thinks. When somebody offers significantly more than the asking price for an item you're selling online, it often raises red flags for potential scam. It's an overpayment scam. This is a common tactic where the buyer sends a check or a digital payment for more than the purchase price, then asks you to refund the difference. Once you send back the access amount, the original payment often bounces. Boom. Lack of interest in product details. If the buyer shows no interest in the condition, specifications, or even see more photos of the MacBook, it's a sign they're more interested in executing a scam than actually purchasing your item. That's happening here too. Urgency or pressure. Scammers often create a sense of urgency or pressure for you to act quickly. Hopefully you won't recognize that it's a scam. Let's try something. Sounds good. Would you be able to do this next week? I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. 
ChatGPT always knows what's up. Good to hear. Do you have a PayPal account? If so, can I send a payment right away? And once you confirm, you may arrange for the shipping. Yes, I do. My PayPal is... Please let me know when you've sent the payment. I don't actually have a PayPal account with that address. So if they let me know saying that they've sent it, that's... Come on, we know this is a scam. I know this is a scam, but I also want you to be aware of what goes on here. Awesome, please email me a payment request at this address. Kathy, blah, blah, blah. Wait, I thought your name was Lisa. Yes, I'm making the payment using my daughter's PayPal account. Oh, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. Do you have your own PayPal or another form of payment? While I wait for that scam to wrap up, we're gonna see where it goes. I actually do wanna sell this thing, so I'm gonna post it on Craigslist. All right, it's been a day. Let's see what's going on here. I already did put my MacBook up on on eBay and Craigslist. Got some responses. We'll go through that in a moment. But as far as Facebook Marketplace, this person completely disappeared and their entire chat history disappeared. I don't even see the messages. Another one. Is the item still available? Yes. Done. And here's a fun one. What condition is the item in? It says the condition right there. Like new. What's your firm price? For those of you that don't know anything about negotiation, I put a price up. So that's my price. Like it's your turn now to tell me your price. No, I'm going to say 1100 You know, You know what? Better yet, uh, you know, 900. Oh wait, um, I changed my mind. It's gonna be 800 now. No, are you kidding me? What's your firm price? I'm just gonna say yes. Yeah, I'm being kind of, um, you know. <laughs> But so is he. He says, what's your firm price? So I say 1400 which is higher than my listed price of 1300 All right. I will need your Facebook email address. So I proceed with a payment if you have it set up already. <laughs> Oh, you want more? Sure, I'll pay you more. But I wanted to see what your firm price is. Okay, sure, here is my email address. Not related to Facebook payment or anything, just my email address from an account I used as a throwaway account. Can you ship it to Florida? I'm paying 1500. Oh, he raised the price without me even asking. Including mailing fee to my address if you're interested. Oh wow, thanks. Yeah, I will ship it to you. So at this point he goes and he sets up a payment and check this out. This is from metapayactivity at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got the meta logo. It's got my name, transaction ID, amount, the date, product type is Facebook ads. Come on, you couldn't even change the product type? Too lazy to do that? And then we've got the address and so on in Florida. So he sent me a payment. And then he says, can you send me the pictures of the laptop? After he sends me the payment, I'm like, sure. What do you want to see? It looks like you already sent a payment. Is that right? He's like, yes, a body and screen I want to see. Wait, what? You, you want to see more of the laptop and there's already pictures of the body and screen in the ad? Okay, I'm not not home right now, but I'll check my payment when I get home. As for photos, body and screen photos are shown already. Is there something else that's not clear? He says, please send it here. So clearly a scam. Let's talk about Craigslist for a second. This one takes the longest amount of time, but also has the best payout from what I've seen in the past. Usually you have to wait for a month or so before you get real decent buyer here, but eventually they come around. Notice I always say local pickup only, no shipping here. That way I meet them face to face. I posted this on eBay. Now I haven't posted anything on eBay for many, many years. Years, so I forgot what they charge and so on and so forth. But apparently they charge 13% fee, which is quite high. This guy is very, very interested. I can pay cash. Would you accept 1100? I said, I may, but we'll have to see how the auction goes. Say you will sell it for 12.99. eBay will deduct 13% from your sale. doesn't really matter how much you sell it for. If that's the case, up to $7,500, I believe. So he says 168 will be deducted in fees. He keeps sending me more and more messages. Really interested. I say, I think if you give me 1250 in cash, I can do now. I live in Jersey. If I drive there, it won't be more than for $1,100. But if you ship 1150, I think I'll wait. Thank you. And he says, what do you think? Very, very anxious to get this deal done. It's 1131 after 13% fees. <laughs> By the way, What's the battery life and is there any Apple care? What do you think? Is this a scam or not? I don't know, but I'm going to let this auction play out a little bit longer. All right. I just took some more pictures of this thing and they look nice. Look at these beautiful images. How could you say no to that? And I'm also going to edit my post. This weekend only 1250 Price goes back up on Monday. Let's make the price, oh, I don't know, 1390 There we go. Motivate people because it's the weekend. I don't want to be driving around during the week doing this stuff. I think you are right. I am charging too low for this amazing machine. I've raised the price on eBay too. I'll be honest with you. Am I desperate to sell this thing? Absolutely not. Am I taking a huge hit selling it? Absolutely. Is there a part of me that just wants to keep it 
Definitely. So raising the price for me is not a big deal. All right, this guy, have you received the payment confirmation? Yes, I did receive the confirmation, but how do I get the funds? Waiting. Once the payment is sent, you will get the notification from Facebook Pay and you will have to get back to Facebook Pay with the shipment proof or the tracking. After the verification process, your account will be credited instantly. Hmm, sorry, I require a payment before sending out the laptop, not after. I sent the payment already. Okay, great. I just checked my bank account and the money isn't there. You have to ship out the package and send proof of the shipment to Facebook for a verification and clearance. Sorry, I require payment before sending out the laptop, not after. I sent the payment already. I just checked the bank account and the money isn't there. Are you trying to rip me off? No, of course not. Are you? No. Okay, awesome. When are you shipping out the item then? I'll ship it when the money is in my account. For the money to hit your account, you'll have to send the tracking receipt for the verification and clearance of funds. I don't know what all that is. I'm a simple man. I like things simple. You give me the money, I give you the laptop. That's all. I sent you the payment already. It's not in my bank account. Maybe we can try PayPal. That always works. Silence. Hello, I need my money. Please refund me. How? There's absolutely nothing to worry about because the money in question has already been deducted from my account and pending to be credited into your account as soon as you provide the shipment proof of payment, okay? And I say, how can I refund you? You don't seem happy, so I just want to make things right. Let me refund you if I can. Mail Facebook pay for the refund. Scammer. Send me pictures. You didn't. Please refund me. We're kind of jumbling some stuff here <laughs> going back and forth i think somebody is a little bit nervous here okay i will do that when now okay here's his email by the way i noticed that in this email for proof of uh what he paid me is for an apple macbook pro 16 inch m1 max two terabyte wow this person is really confused and can't even keep it together all the scams that he's running at the same time this is just like get a spreadsheet okay it's not that hard all right i'm just sending a reply saying here's your refund. Enjoy. I should probably change this a little bit. Payment to scammer. Transaction ID, that's fine. Uh, you know what? Let's refund him a little more. Let's, let's give him $10,000. I added a bonus for your troubles. <laughs> All right, let's go. Boom, good to go. I think that's enough of that. There's also zero movement on my Craigslist post. That's usually the case with these things. On Craigslist, it takes a very long time, but on eBay, it's a whole different story. This thing sold already on eBay, sold for $13.25. This person has 100% buyer feedback. That's good, but eBay is not releasing the funds to me until the 24th of this month, and the auction ended on April 8th. So eBay is really holding on tight here. Not only that, but they charged sales tax to this person and they charged them shipping. The shipping was $29.14. So they charged this person a total of $1,475.05 and they're charging me $195.84 for the transaction fee. So eBay is making out here with quite a bit of this cash. Look at this. I'm only getting $1,158.30 for this. Tell us what you think. <laughs> I'll tell you what I think. I think you have my funds on hold. I think you're not giving me my money. You took the buyer's money and then some. You're going to give me less money, 13.25% less money. I think your website is incredibly difficult to navigate. And if I go and calculate my shipping label, you're charging me $32.64, but I've received only $29.14, even though I checkmarked that I want buyer to pay for the shipping. So you're going to be charging me extra for the shipping label too? Come on, eBay. Also, eBay. I'm logged in as myself. I'm the seller of this item. You've been around since the 90s and you have this button here that says contact seller. You can't even tell that I'm the seller of this item. If I click this button, it gives me an error message. What? You've been around. What is wrong with you, eBay? Well, I give it to them. They have a lot more reach, that's for sure. So this definitely helps sell your items faster. But if I were to do this again, I'd say I would probably raise my price a little bit higher. Meanwhile, on Facebook Marketplace, I keep getting scams. Not a single serious request on Facebook Marketplace. And the guy that was so anxious to buy it and drive down to meet me was going to give me $1,300 cash. Well, was he going to give it to me or not until there's money in my hands? that's still questionable. So maybe I did lose out on that particular situation. But since I want to keep eBay my good graces and not get bad seller feedback from the buyer that bought this on eBay, I'm going to keep this transaction and I'm going to ship this beautiful laptop to this person that bought it. Hopefully they'll treat it well. Moral of the story, watch out for scams. These are some of the examples out there. Probably avoid Facebook Marketplace. If you're in a hurry, eBay is probably a good option. Although you're going to end up paying a lot more for fees and you're going to 
going to get less than if you were to sell it on Craigslist, which is what I've done many times before. But on Craigslist, you never know. You're also going to get scams over there, but you might sell it eventually. It's just going to take a long time. I got just over $1,100 for this machine and Apple was offering me $860 for the trade-in, which means I got a little bit more than that. Now, I did price out all the MacBook Airs that I have with Apple's trade-in. If you want to see that video, check this out right over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't get scammed. Thank you.